So one of my students in the saxophone artistry mentorship program asked me, how do I play the low notes? What do I do with my finger? So I thought of doing this little video and show you actually how I play these notes. So Joe is asking, try to get a decent flow, low C sharp and low B, I'm getting it sometimes. Is my pinky correct? So let's see. So you have to remember that low notes require a lot of air for them to come out because you're pushing air from here, it goes out into the saxophone and then out from the bell. So in terms of finger position, okay, it's a very personal thing because it depends on the size of your hands and on your fingers. Now, in order to play B flat, I actually go down, I use the side of my, of my finger like this, okay? And then I, I use the fingertip for B and, um, and for C sharp. But again, this is me. So you have to see what's best for you and actually what makes sense for your, for your hand, if that makes sense. Makes sense? Makes sense? <laughs> I'm all tangled here. Okay, so when you play these notes, there's two things that you want to keep in mind. First is that air here, okay, air is the most important thing. If there's not enough air going through, then the notes will break. But I'm struggling with C sharp to low B flat. <laughs> If I don't consciously think about pushing a lot of air from down here, then my low notes, my low C sharp, my low B, my low B flat, whatever, they will break, okay? So check it out, something like this. So let's say I don't think about anything and I just blow the way it is without putting too much effort into here, this is what I get. Right? It sucks because there's not enough air going through, so the note cannot speak well because no, there's not enough air. Make sense? And then on top of that, if your fingers are not smoothly scrolling between the, the the rolls in here then there's gonna be a little gap in between the notes and then without consistent air the notes are gonna break okay so the first thing you want to um, concentrate on is to push a lot of air like crazy so the notes actually come out okay that's the very first thing to do and then the other thing you want to remember is that you have to find your comfortable position for your fingers in order for them to roll nice and smoothly between every single key so when i was at berkeley in boston years ago the famous repair guy uh, emilio lyons put this amazing thing that really changed my life and it's this raisin here to raise up the c sharp and the B flat, okay? And since then, I've been able to play these notes, oh my God, so much better, because you need that kind of extra height in order to, to play, okay? So that was amazing. And if you're wondering what saxophone artistry is, is my new online mentorship program where I help students, intermediate players, and upper beginner players to really develop their playing and develop great foundations on sound, timing, and practice and effective practicing. So if you're curious about it, you're welcome to apply. The link is here below in the description. Remember two things, air pushing a lot of air from the diaphragm and find a comfortable position with your fingers. You might need to stretch your pinky and that's okay. Okay, stretch it and see where you can go and, and experiment with playing with the fingertip or with the side or with something else. I mean, it's just a pinky, but you know, just experiment with your uh, personal approach because what I'm saying it might not apply to you so you're unique and you need to find a way to make this happen bear in mind that the saxophone has to help you in a way so you can you know you can just get some um, help, extra help on the keys by raising those keys as I said before okay remember that everyone struggles with those notes everyone from beginners to seasoned professionals okay it's something that you have to work throughout the years and to throughout your practice so don't don't be hard on yourself you know they're hard notes so just work on them slowly <laughs>